If you read the thumbnail about sales, you are probably already three miles ahead of me thinking that you hate to sell, that you are not good at, that you are not a good salesperson, that sales is not for you, that sales is not for everyone, that you prefer to be a mom or a student or someone else but a salesperson. Well, hi, my name is Anna, and in today's video we are talk about we are going to talk about sales. And yes, you are a salesperson, and me and everyone in this planet is a salesperson. And I'm going to explain you why. Life is about selling. What is selling? If we go back, like way, way, way back to hundreds and thousands of years back, selling was to change, to make a change between two things. I give you something, you give me something, right? And people used to change in agriculture things for coffee, for um, salt, salt so was, was considered like gold. Um, coffee was considered gold. And then gold came in. So we always have exchanged things since we were, you know, in the beginnings of human, you know, civilization. Now, in today's modern world, everything it's about selling and i'm going to tell you like all of the ways in which you are selling without you even know you are selling when you are underage and you still live at home and you want to convince your parents to do something that conviction it's a negotiation process you want to convince your dad to let you go to a party or to let you uh, drive his car or whatever that is a sell okay um, when you are selling to your teacher your grade or your essay or your presentation and you are selling that in exchange of a grade. If you hit on girls or boys and you want to start dating, you are selling yourself, your persona, right? Your talent and how nice you look in your image and how you know, charismatic and funny and well-being you are. So you sell your person. Um, social media, it's about selling. It's about selling your, yourself in exchange of an acceptance, in exchange of likes, of comments. You want to sell yourself and be accepted by the society. If you sell in a company in exchange for money, that's the traditional way of selling. Now, everything is about sales. And we must understand whether you are selling just your Instagram or your parents or your son or you do sales for a living, you need to understand that we are all in the human to human industry. You are selling to humans and you are a human. So the basic factor here, the basic denominator is the word humans. And in order to succeed in sales, we need to understand how humans work, how humans think, how humans interact. And I wanna give you a few points here just to really make you understand why you are succeeding in sales and what you are doing right if you are doing these points. And I didn't make this up. I read How to Master the Art of Selling, great book by the way, but there are many, many books about sales that you can read. Okay, uh, most people never succeed in sales, whether it's anything in sales, because they are around there just walking around with a sign that says desperation, I'm desperate, I really need your money. It's like you are lowering your pants, you are just getting naked in front of the client saying, I will give you anything just in return of your money. I really need your money because I want my business to succeed. I don't have clients. So what does this mean? It means that the client will take advantage of you, will ask you more in exchange for less money. It means that um, desperation is risky. People don't trust desperate people. You won't sound professional. You won't look professional. and you are becoming used to being so dependent of one client because that client is your everything, that client pays your bills, and that client knows that. So you, at all costs, don't wanna let that client go because you will lose the money 
in your income. It's like being in a toxic relationship and you don't want to just dump your boyfriend or girlfriend because you are afraid of being alone. It's the same thing. Other people over promise or want to change a culture. They want to just sell something that is too good to be true. And people just don't believe that. Everyone can make you rich. Every diet is going to make you lose all of the weight in one week. Just take this magic pill and you will be like a Barbie tomorrow. All of those commercials are really hard to be true. So they overpromise and they sell you a reality that is not true. And what happens here, this is very dangerous because you can either buy them, buy from them because you are okay, want to look like a Barbie, or you start to realize that that is not true and that they are over promising and they are inventing something, inventing facts that they will lose their entire reputation. So never over promise and never invent a fake reality. There is a quote that I love that says the blind leading the blind. What do I mean by this? If I want to sell you, I don't know, how to lose weight i should be a fit person i must be a healthy person i cannot sell you something that i am not how can i sell you um, management consulting or how to fix your business and i've never been in a business before and most people sell things that they don't know about and it all starts with your appearance I'm not talking about brands, about wearing the most expensive clothes, but you need to be decent. You need to be um, with good hygiene, well baited, um, nice looking person, because that sounds, that looks professional and that sells trust. The second thing is to prove your expertise, to really say, okay, I'm going to teach you how to lose weight because I know how to lose weight, because I'm fit, because I've been doing it for the past X, Y, or Z years. Now, if you're just starting out and you don't have testimonials, do it for free. You need to be able to help someone and give them a transformation. And once you are able to do that, to obtain a transformation, now you can say, okay, here's my transformation, I can charge for it, okay? but. Do not sell something that you don't know. Don't look like just a person who's scared, afraid, it's not well looking, you know, because uniforms and nice clothes mean authority, mean respect and mean trust. What happens if you see a police person on the street? You will look at them as a respectful person, right? Someone to trust. What happens if you see that same person two hours later on the street with regular clothes? You don't know who they are. They are unknown. They don't show respect. They don't look as respectful person. So uniform and nice clothes mean authority, respect, and trust. So sell that as well. Last but not least is uh, I'm going to give you just the outline of sales, whether you are just trying to convince your parents or you are trying to sell a car or something. And then we can go in more detail on the later videos, but here's how sale works. Now people hate the process, but love the result. So when, when you talk about sales, you want to sell the outcome, never the process, because the process is not a good experience. That's rule number one. Okay. You are going to sell the cure for cancer, not the treatment for cancer. Step number two, between you and anyone out there, there is a wall, a barrier of fear, unknown and uncertainty. Why? Because let's be honest, you are not the only person saying, selling this thing. There are millions of people sell, selling the exact same thing as you. So your prospect already heard what you are selling in the past and they didn't like it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here sitting in front of you if they, still, if they didn't have the problem. So they created a barrier and they don't wanna hear from anyone because they don't trust those people. How can you remove that barrier? That's the sales process. You need to sell aspirins. 
you need to give them away aspirins for free and then sell them the cure for cancer. What do I mean that? An aspirin is a small problem that will solve them, a small thing, really simple, really easy, and you can give that away for free. And once you prove that you are known, everything that I just say in the video, that you are a trustworthy person, that you know what you're talking about, that you are an expert, that you know what you are doing, and that you really want to help them, it's not just about the money, then you can talk about the cure. So first of all, during your sales process, give away aspirins for free. And once the barrier of unknown and fear is, you know, is out of your way, then you can talk about the cure for cancer, never the process, never the treatment. What are some examples of aspirins out there? Free trials, coupons, samples, free meals, uh, two coupons, two per one entrances, um, really good discounts, free PDF, free classes, webinars, online trainings. There are many, many examples of free aspirins. Choose one, choose one problem, solve it. You will get in return the trust and the attention of the client. Once you get that, then you can sell them. So this is a sales process. Sales process is about selling the desired situation, not the current situation, because that is too painful. People don't want to be reminded that they made a mistake and that they are in a painful situation. Remember that the next time that you are selling. Remember that anyone who is watching this video must learn about sales because the world is about sales. The world is about being accepted and having a place somewhere. Now, if you like this video, I have a few choices for he, you at this point. Number one, you can watch the next videos on sale if you wanna continue learning. Number two, we have a community for business owners. And I'm not talking about a Facebook group or a LinkedIn group. I'm talking about a real community. It's a platform that we build just for our clients. And inside the platform, we have online trainings, we have resources, we have projects, you can meet people, you can network with them, you can go to events, and we can help you one-on-one -on -one create a plan to really get you going, to really meet your plans. You can get started from that community for free right now. So get started, click the link below. Remember to continue to watch my videos. If you like my videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.